Hi students, how are you guys? Hope you are doing good, right? Sure, good to go. Okay guys, so in our next class, what we are going to study is, is nothing but what we call it as a relations, right? It's a very basic one, so you have to understand this. So we are going to study relations, okay? It's a very basic topic and uh, very simple one. So in relations, what we'll learn about, so I'm just giving you overview. So what we'll learn about, we'll learn about what is a relations. Huh? So relations definitions, so precap of it, right? So basically you know that relation is nothing but a, we call it as a subset, right? A subset of Cartesian product. Okay subset of the Cartesian product. And you know what is a Cartesian product of two sets, right? Two sets. And the set can be same set or a different set, right? Then we will learn in this relations, what we will learn? We will learn about the types of relations, right? Like we will learn about what is a null set. Null relation, you can say, null relations. So what will be null relations? I know. A relation having no elements. Simple. A relation having no elements. Elements. Okay. Then we will learn about what called universal relations, right? Then we will learn about universal relations. Sorted? So universal relation, what is that? So you will say ki. Anna, basically, R will be equals to what? A cross B, right? So if this R will be your basically the universal set. Anna, don't worry, these all things I will uh, make it in full details, right? In your next class, you will be learning this all things in the full details, guys. Don't worry. I'm just giving you overview. What is it? Okay. Okay. Once you once you are done with it, really universal relations, then we'll go for. Then we'll go for the main from where the actually the class 12th starts. And what, so, okay, one more relations is there. What you can say, identity relations, right? Identity relations. And what is identity relations? So it says that key for, I know, for A belongs to set A, right? A comma A will belongs to R, right? For all A belongs to set A, right? I know. So that type of is called the identification. And basically, we see that we will see that this is denoted by right IA. I know. Okay. Then we'll learn about reflexive relations. Okay. Reflexive relation. I know. What is the reflexive relations? So in that we'll say ki, let's suppose I know, let a is a set which belongs to some real set A, right? And a non-empty set A. Then we say that, then we say that if A comma A belongs to R for all A belongs to A, right? Then relation will be called, Anna, then the relation will be what? Will be called as a reflexive. Called as reflexive. Are you getting a point? Okay. Now, you might be thinking, ki, uh, by looking at these two, two things, you might be thinking, ki, there must be some relation, right? Between identity relation, Anna, are the same identity relation and uh, what you can say? Reflexive relation. What is the, what is the uh, relation between them, actually? They, are they going to be same? That we will discuss in our next class, Anna. So for doing that, you have to attend that lecture, okay? Understood. Then we'll go for the symmetric one, right? Then we'll go for the symmetric relations. In symmetric relation, we'll learn that, okay, let's suppose we have two elements, huh? A comma B belongs to some set A, right? And let's suppose there is one, so now say that okay, if, huh? if A comma B belongs to R, right on a cross a basically i am talking about this right then then b comma a 
right? Then B comma A must belongs to R, right? For relations to become symmetric. To be symmetric, as simple as that. Right? Are you getting a point? Yes? Okay. So, and the third and the best one is basically your transitive relation. Transitive relation. What is the transitive relations? Have you ever heard about it? Of course not, right? So basically, what does it say? Here, basically, we will deal with three, you know, three elements, right? Let's suppose that it belongs to set A. So what says ki if A comma B belongs to R, remember this word, guys, and very, very important, and, right? And B comma C belongs to R, then this implies ki A comma C also belongs to R, right? Then you will say that ki relation is transitive. Relation is transitive. Are you getting a point? Okay. Now you might be wondering, just remember for an example, but remember, if, if A comma B belongs to R and B comma C does not belongs to R, then remember, it will be treated automatically, right? It will be a transitive. It will be a transitive relation automatically, right? So what you understood in that, if first relation is there, right? And second relation is, second is not present in the relation. Then the third one automatically did not to check it. Ultimately, it will be a transitive relations, right? Okay. And the third and the fourth, last one, we call it as an equivalence relation, guys, right? What call it as an equivalence relation. So what is equivalence relation? It says that a relation, a relation which follows, which follows all the three properties, right? All the three properties of a relation, all the three properties of relations, namely reflexive, right? Namely reflexive, then symmetric, okay, and transitive. Right. So a, a relation which follows all these properties are said to be equivalence relation. Right. Are said to be equivalence relation. I got my point, right? So basically this, if you understand this, Anna, you have to understand that these are the types of relations and normally okay and uh, once you know that ki these are the types of relations basically right uh, what are the types of relations that we have seen so basically we'll see that okay basically we'll see that uh, in our upcoming classes okay in that we will discuss in much more details we'll take some examples right you will get to know what is that and basically the relations between the identity relations as well as reflexive, are they same? Are every time those things are same, right? And once we are done with it, we will uh, now after that, we'll proceed to equivalence class and all guys, right? So for that, you have to be there, right? Anna, you have to be there in the class and finally we'll be uh, going through all those relations part of it. Okay, any doubt, any questions? Good to go then. See you in the class, guys. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a good day.